Welcome to HowSmart.net's weekly news quiz. If you're watching this, congratulations. You've survived another week of madness. Now let's see if you've been paying attention. First, who is the first world leader to shake Putin's hand? Ignoring the ICC warrant for his arrest. Was it Fumio Kishida, Xi Jinping, or Kim Jong-un? It was Xi Jinping. He met Putin on March 20, calling for peace in Ukraine. Fun fact, on the same day, Japanese Prime Minister Kishida visited Kyiv, exposing the Great Northeast Asian divide over the Ukraine war. Now, prepare for a shock. Who's this mother of 23 making headlines? Is it Maria Bakalova, Maria Elena Bosky, or Maria Lavova Belova? Russian politician Maria Lavova Belova has five biological and 18 adopted children. Oh, and she's also accused of unlawfully deporting Ukrainian children to Russia. The International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant against her and Putin on March 17. Next, who was known as King Alfred I? Was he the Swiss Confederation's first monarch, a baking founding German prince, or a Swiss railway magnate? It's Alfred Escher's nickname, the man who built Switzerland's railways and founded Credit Suisse. In March 2023, UBS saved Credit Suisse in a deal worth 3 billion Swiss francs to protect the country's economy. Looks like the Swiss are playing Monopoly with their banks. And on a very different note, raccoon dots are, are canine, a rodent, or types of raccoons? It's a canine, more like a fox. These furry fellows are now linked to the possible origins of COVID-19, having been sold in the Huanan seafood wholesale market, the suspected starting point of the pandemic. And to think we took all that time to learn how to pronounce pangolin in. Next, what caused hundreds of Israeli military reservists to say they wouldn't show up for duty? Was it the country's legal system overhaul, military budget cuts, or mandatory military service? Well, they were protesting the country's legal system overhaul. Hundreds of elite officers refused to show up for duty, arguing that the plan changes to the judicial system undermined democracy. Like the Middle East hasn't enough issues already. On to some tech. Google's Bard differs from Microsoft's Bing because Bard is a search engine while Bing is a chatbot. Bard is a recommendation engine and Bing is a search engine. Or is it that Bard is informative and comprehensive while Bing is better at searching? Bard is informative, while Bing is better at searching. Bard is now available to a limited number of users via a waiting list. Google released its conversational AI bot as a standalone web page featuring a question box. So if you want a good conversation, join the waitlist. And on a related subject, YouTube CEO Neil Mohan made headlines by allowing unauthorized content use and cancelling YouTube music, permitting copyrighted music use and welcoming Can I West back, or letting creators swear in videos and profit and allowing Trump back. The answer is to allow creators to use swear words at the start of a video and profit off it and to allow Trump back, the first significant content decision under Chief Executive Neil Mohan. So, if you want to make some money off your potty mouth dear former president, YouTube is the place to be. And to the next collision, Gwyneth Paltrow's Deer Valley crash involved a snowboard and a sled, a rover and a deer, or no vehicles at all. Well, no vehicles were involved. A skiing accident in 2016 left Paltrow facing a lawsuit for alleged injuries. She countersued, claiming the plaintiff skied into her. The trial began on March 21st. Who knew skiing could get you so much paperwork? Next question. Why was Shaquille O'Neal in the hospital? Was it a new hip, a new nose, or a new heart? A new hip. The basketball legend had hip replacement surgery on March 15th. He posted this photo of himself in a hospital gown on Twitter. Looks like even Shaq needs a little upgrade sometimes. How old is Bruce Willis? Is he younger than Tom Cruise, older than Harrison Ford, or about the same age as Kevin Costner?
He's about the same age as Kevin Costner. Willis, who has front out Pearl Dementia, celebrated his 68th birthday with his family on March 19. He's starred in over 100 movies during his four-decade career. Which of these TV shows did not have Lance Reddick in a notable role? Was he absent from Lost and American Horror Story, Oz and Alias, or The Wire and Fringe? The talented actor, who recently passed away at 60, was known for his roles in John Wick, Fringe, Lost, and many other TV shows and movies. He will be missed. And our final question for this week. What was Gil Gadot's last DC appearance as Wonder Woman? Was it Wonder Woman 1984, Shazam Fury of the Gods, or Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice? It's Shazam Fury of the Gods. Gil Gadot's appearance had to be digitally composited into the movie's date scene with a body double for reference. But no, it's not a Gil Gadot deepfake. That's it for this week's news quiz. If you got all 12 questions correct, congratulations, you're smarter than us. Don't forget to visit howsmart.net for all your trivia needs, and remember, the truth is stranger than fiction.